Hey guys, welcome back to another Day Ray Dudes video, and today I will be talking about the Douglas DC-1. The Douglas DC-1 was the first model of the very famous American DC commercial transport aircraft series. Although only one plane was produced, the design was the basis for the DC-3, one of the most successful airliners in history. The development of the DC-1 can be traced back to the TWA Fokker F-10 crash of 1931. Fokker F-10's wings were built with wooden glue, so as the planes flew through thunderstorms, water would seep into the wing, dissolving the glue holding the wing together, leading to the wing falling off the aircraft and the pilot losing control of the plane. Following the incident, the U.S. government banned the use of wooden glue in aircraft. Boeing saw this as an opportunity to make the 247 an all-metal monoplane, but their production was limited, so Douglas came up with the DC-1, also an all-metal aircraft. It would be able to seat 12 passengers, cruise at 190 miles per hour, and fly up to 1,000 miles. The first flight of the prototype was on July 1, 1933. The aircraft would perform more than 200 test flights, most of them outperforming other airliners at the time. However, the aircraft did have flaws, so Douglas made the DC-2 and DC-3. The DC-1 was later sold to Lord Forbes of the UK, then sold to LAPE, then sold to the Spanish Air Force, and then finally sold to Iberia in 1939. About a year later, the plane force landed at the Malaga airport in Spain, saving everyone on board but damaging the aircraft beyond repair. Thank you.